a story, a great story. And today, our story at Claflin University is a story of phenomenal transformation of an institution. Graduates who are ready to act as global citizens in addressing the world's most pressing problems. You know, I see critical problems of the world being solved right here on Claflin's campus. And I can give you some examples. For example, this year, within the past year, we've received, through the work of our research faculty, have received two U.S. patents, one for discovering a new method for treating HIV AIDS. The other patent this year was for a new method for producing alternative fuel, butanol. So I clearly see that things can happen here on our campus. We want to be a leader in terms of providing students with cutting edge programs, especially uh, in the STEM uh, disciplines. We also want to have an across the board strand of entrepreneurship, if you will. We want, no matter what the discipline, we want students to be thinking about creating their own businesses, um, creating jobs, making jobs, not just taking jobs. And of course, for Claflin University, I see a great future, continuous growth in our enrollment, in the resources, and of course, the programs. And in fact, in 2011, Claflin University was reclassified from a regional liberal arts institution to one of the national liberal arts institutions. What would you say are some of Claflin's strong key programs? Some of Claflin's strongest programs include uh, programs in the STEM disciplines, business, and education. And specifically in the STEM, we have uh, uh, very innovative and cutting-edge programs such as biotechnology, uh, environmental sciences, uh, forensic science. We have a master's degree in biotechnology. So certainly, in, and we have a facility that has a research facility that has been designated as a core research facility for the state of South Carolina. So in the STEM disciplines, we see that we have a very distinctive um, uh, strength there. And of course, uh, in our business programs, fully accredited, our teacher education program, fully accredited as well. And I could not end without saying something about the arts. Uh, Claflin was a pioneering institution in terms of the arts in South Carolina, and we continue to boast uh, very strong and accredited programs in music and also uh, a very traditional and historic program in, in the arts at Claflin University. What would you say are unique to the HBCUs in the state of South Carolina? Well, I think when we think of HBCUs, I think that we still remain treasures. That is, treasures that have given access, treasures that have given success, especially and primarily to African Americans, and also serving those individuals who would probably not be served, who would have been least served. I think that continues to be a very important role. We still serve a disproportionate number of socioeconomically disadvantaged poor uh, in South Carolina. And I think that's still very much necessary. If the state of South Carolina is going to prosper, it must develop all of the talents of all the individuals here. What are some of the opportunities facing South Carolina HBCUs? That we are not just unique at HBCUs, but we are also competitive in terms of our place in the mainstream of higher education uh, here in South Carolina. We are here to serve all of South Carolina. We are here to help with economic development. And when I mentioned earlier the fact that the South Carolina Research Authority came on our campus and designated one of our facilities as a core research facility because they saw the possible impact in terms of economic development, workforce development, and ensuring that we have diversity throughout the workforce. I still think that our HBCUs play a very, very important role. And we're ready to step out and take on any of the challenges that will face our state and the nation. So we continue to be very competitive as far as higher education is concerned, and I think we still play a very valuable role in the higher education space. What is your message to Claflin University alumni? Um, Claflin University alumni are ranked number one uh, in the country among HBCUs. The annual giving rate, the annual giving rate of the Claflin University alumni is number one among all HBCUs, 
And given that it's in the high 40 percent, it's among the highest among uh, institutions in general. Well, I think the, the, the number one, you've got to begin by giving your students a great education when they come and doing your best to make certain they feel good about the experience that they have with you and also beginning to train them. Our, we have programs at class that get our students involved in giving while they're at the university. And looking long term, what do you foresee for the university? Well, looking long term, I would say that, you know, we envision, we want to be known as an institution that is preparing new generations of critical thinkers for visionary, effective, and ethical leadership. We envision Claflin preparing graduates who are ready to act as global citizens in addressing the world's most pressing problems. And I know proceeds from the campaign will benefit the Focus 100 Student Fund. Could you tell us more about this fund? We hope to create opportunities, know more about Claflin University, uh, to have opportunities to give in, in a number of different ways. In general, we hope and we know, given the audience of the Tom Joyner Morning Show, we, we hope to gain great exposure, great recognition, and a chance to tell and retell uh, a story, a great story. I do want to thank um, the, uh, Tom Joyner, who's been on our campus several times. I, I want to thank him and I thank the, uh, uh, the Tom Joyner um, School of the Month program for helping all of our historically black colleges and universities, that is, through the Tom Joyner Morning Show. So let me just say thank you, first of all.